Praise God. Welcome to another episode of Springs from the Desert. In continuation of our previous study in Genesis 22, where we meditated upon key factors of success as we walk in Christ, we're going to focus again another two attributes today. So let's move ahead to Genesis 22 and read verses 5. So Abraham embarked on the journey, getting clear instructions from the Lord. And while they were on the way, they walked, they completed the journey for three days. And on the third day, Abraham saw from far off the place of the altar that he had to do the sacrifice. So in verse 5 it says, And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide you here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Now the focus over here is, when you are moving ahead with your vision you're planning to accomplish your task you need to understand to remove possible obstacles in this situation if abraham has taken everybody they might have had loads of questions that abraham had to answer perhaps when you're moving ahead with a task you might not have enough time at hand to explain everything to the people around you. So it is very important to have that undivided attention and focus towards what you are doing. So in order to achieve that, the possible barriers, possible obstacles, the possible things that would dilute your focus needs to be removed and you need to have that complete attention and focus to move ahead. And then another beautiful thing here is he says to the people that I'm going to go there, I'm going to go worship and come back to you. So what is the important point here? It's the positive confession backed by faith. Abraham hasn't seen the end result yet. However, he is so confident based on the instructions that he got from the Lord, that he's going to worship and come back. Sometimes when we embark on a mission, the end result is not very clear. But do you have faith to support your positivity? Do you have faith to positively confess goodness upon what you're doing? That is very important. So from this scripture, your attention needs to be focused on how do you remove possible barriers and give undivided attention to what you're doing and positive confession based on the faith you have in God. You ultimately believe no matter what happens, the outcome will be positive. The outcome will be favorable because the word of God says that every works together for those who love the Lord for the best. So there is no way that in the Lord you will be going wrong. So please meditate upon these two points when a task is at hand. Try implementing the four points that we have discussed already. The first is positive attitude towards the task. Point number two is the preparation. Point number three is a focus by removing the possible barriers to move forward. Point number four is positive confession backed by faith. May God bless you.